Reports, the city of South Tucson recently announced that it is dealing with a budget deficit. And now they're exploring ways to save, including using local resources. Now your size Jennifer Martinez tells us about their options. Last month, we told you that the city of South Tucson was in a $624,000 deficit. Since then, Sixto Molina yeah, says the, whole... the city has found different ways to bring that We're number really... down by more than $100,000, but there's still work to be done. We do have a significant budget deficit. We have to close that gap. Closing the gap by reaching out to the city of Tucson. If they could provide police coverage for uh, certain hours, and the reason for that is if we can eliminate one shift, then we will have two shifts, and our slow peak time where uh, demand for police service is the least. And Sixto Molina tells me that he asked the city of Tucson to provide services from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. Well, my thinking was if we can have two 10-hour shifts covered by our own officers, and then during the slow time have TPD uh, cover, uh, you know, uh, service, police service in South Tucson, uh, maybe we could make that work. But Molina also recognizes that at times it could become a little bit more involved, especially if more TPD resources are needed for a crime scene. But if you have a, a crime scene, then you've got evidence handling and uh, a lot of other things, maybe some photography, some uh, crime scene photography uh, from their ID unit. It gets a little more complicated, so it's not as easy as, as it may sound. Molina could not provide just how much South Tucson would save by getting help from the city of Tucson, but he says it's enough to help them close the gap. He's put in a request and is still waiting on a response from the city of Tucson. Jennifer Martinez, Kega 9, on your side.